Hey guys, welcome to Meals with Maria. I'm broadcasting today from a new and different location, my car. And we are gonna head out to try and find some clearance deals on food. I haven't been to the grocery store in quite some time and I'm feeling like I'm running low on meats in the freezer. The only way I can do this is by going into the store and finding out what they have. So I figured I'm gonna take you guys along with me today. Then I'll take you home with me. We will do a grocery haul and then I'm actually gonna try and do some meal prep. I have some great ideas that I'm excited to share with you guys. So let's go and see what I can find. So the first store I'm at is Walmart and I'm checking everything out in the salad section. I generally see reduced bags of salad. And sometimes I can good, find good deals on them. So the first thing that I see that I think is a good deal is these salad kits. And some of them are a little bit more expensive than others. Like $2.71 on three forty-three dollars is not too great. But $1.89 right here is a really good deal. And then I also found one for $1.78. And I also grabbed these carrots with ranch dressing. They were expiring soon, but I figured my family could go through them pretty quickly and it would be a great snack. Now this vegetable medley I thought was a really good deal. You could definitely throw this right in the freezer and use it anytime, but I just didn't really have space for it and I didn't need that many veggies at the time. See, all these are pretty decent, I think, but again, not necessarily stuff that I needed. And then I saw this meal kit and I needed something for the night. And $1.99 is going to feed my whole family. It's going to be full of veggies. And if you're planning to eat it that day, it's no problem at all. So that's a really good hack for getting something on a deal. It's going to be way cheaper to buy a reduced meal kit on the day that you're shopping than ordering pizza because I know you're tired by the time you get home. And here is some of the clearance items. It looks like most of them had been cleared out. They did have some clearance cookies, not necessarily something my family would eat, but that is a huge container of cookies. So if you guys are into cookies, they had those and then those fiber one cookies as well. Now I'm at Aldi because there really was no deals at Walmart on meat. And they have, again, salad kits for 99 cents, which I thought was a pretty good deal. So I actually grabbed one of those as well. And then look at this bread price, guys. I am stocking up because you guys know how I like this bread anyway, and it's perfect for putting in my freezer. I'm surprised sometimes when white bread is more expensive than wheat. I really thought wheat should be more expensive. Hey, and my favorite guacamole was $2 off, so I grabbed one of those. Again, it had to be eaten really quickly, but believe me, we go through it. I was really hoping to find some sausage or some ground chicken or turkey for like a dollar. That dollar off on the sausage brought it to $2.25, so I didn't end up grabbing any. I also thought the $2.99 on those meatballs seems like a decent deal. And then this was $5 off. You get the entire beef roast, feed your family for $4.99. I thought that was a pretty good deal. I didn't end up grabbing one because I didn't have the opportunity, but if you, you know, could buy something like that and you could eat it the next day, it's definitely a good deal to be able to snag something like that that's a whole meal for your family for under $5. So here's our turkey and chicken section, and I just did not see any. I was hoping for those like dollar stickers at Aldi. I think those are the best. Just nothing spectacular. And then over where the bone-in and the boneless skinless chicken thighs were, I did find some 30% off stickers, and that's brought everything down to about 67 cents a pound on these chicken legs, which is, I think, a decent deal. Not anything too crazy, though. So next I set it over to Shaw's and my Shaw's has like this little clearance meat section. So I was just taking a look at everything that they had and it looked like nothing too spectacular. So if you're looking for a no antibiotic air chilled chicken, they did have some for 50% off, which if you're trying to do the all natural thing, I think is definitely a good deal. But for my chicken likes, not necessarily. And then these sausage yet again at 50% off but they were I think like $5.99 to begin with so it made them $3 which is still not a great deal and then they did have these alfresco sausages and if you've ever had these these are delicious so they came in I think around $2 and I thought that was pretty decent and then they had all these little meal kits again these are great if you're shopping and you need something that night I'd already bought my stir fry kit so it was all set and last but not least, I checked out my clearance bakery section at Shaw's, which I like a lot better than Walmart. I find that there are a lot of really good deals in this section. So, you know, moral of the story, guys, shop all the stores, find out where your clearance is, and see what you can get because sometimes you can get some amazing deals. All right, so I think I found some pretty good deals, although I did not find any of, like, I was hoping for some dollar turkey, ground turkey, or ground chicken. You know, sometimes you see deals like that, or maybe something like some sort of red meat or a sausage. And 
as you guys saw there, there just really wasn't any of that. But I did get some decent chicken deals. I think I, I didn't do anything spectacular. This is nothing like to go crazy about, but I definitely got some chicken to put in my freezer. So I'm happy about that. And I got some other really good deals too. So let me go through with you. I spent, I spent about $36 at Aldi. I spent around $15 at Shaw's and then and I spent $9 at Walmart. And sorry, this is Aldi as well. So I'm gonna start with Aldi over here. So I saw this chicken you saw, I saw that was like 30% off. So I think it was like, it ends up being like dollar sixty something a pound. Uh, not fantastic, but I really just wanted to have some chicken thighs in the freezer and this is four, which is like perfect for us. So definitely not too bad on that. And then this was 30% off the 505, which puts it at like 67 cents a pound. And when I got to Shaw's, I found out that they had a deal for 67 cents a pound that was not a markdown item. So it doesn't really matter. I could have got it at both places and you'll see what I got at Shaw's. And then I got some white cheddar. This is for New Year's. So I'm gonna probably use my teeny little cookie cutters that will cut them out in the shape of stars for this. I'm excited to do. Then at Aldi, they had 67 cents for the avocados. So I picked those up. I picked up some more sour cream because I want to make a dip for New Year's. So that's 89 cents. These guys you saw were 40 something, 47 cents, 42 cents. Crazy deal. So these are just going to go right in the freezer because my kids eat bread every single week. Then I got this salad kit for 99 cents. Might, let's see, bacon avocado ranch. Might even have that tonight. If not tonight, then we're gonna use it like alongside dinners as well as lunches. 99 cents is a good deal. Then I got these guys, which were a dollar off. So it was like a dollar 50 for six of them, which is an okay price. And they do expire in a few days. My kids will go through them. They eat them super fast. So not a problem there. Then I saw this whole berry cranberry sauce and there's actually something I wanna make with that pork loin that I got a few weeks back. I cut it into like four different pieces for $2 and like 69 cents or something. So I saw an amazing crock pot meal with whole berry cranberry sauce. So I saw this for a, a, like a little over $1.29 or something. Not an excellent deal, but I wanna make sure I have that around when I'm ready to make that roast. And then I got these, these are $1.99. So definitely, um, expensive but i love to have these around for quick lunches like i'll put this with some avocado and whatever vegetables i have around and i think it's a really healthy lunch so it's worth it to me to keep these there and then also also at aldi i got this cheese pizza and then these take and bake cheesy breadsticks if you guys haven't tried take and bakes from aldi before they're amazing and i got this um for new year's so we're gonna have this on new year's and then at Shaw's, where I spent like $15, I was I went on the Just For You app and they had a $5 off your purchase of $5 or more, which is amazing. And then they also had some Just For You coupons or deals. So this week, like the big thing was these were $1.97 for these pizzas. So two pizzas, $1.97 each, which is great to have around. So I got pepperoni and garlic chicken Alfredo, which I've never tried before. So those will go in the freezer for nights when I don't want to cook. And then check out the bread section 50% off of this which is still like a dollar 75 but I love having this non bread around I am just obsessed and this is the whole wheat which is even better I got these dollar 50 with the 50% off I will just pop these in the freezer and that way I'll have rolls for the next time I want to make burgers and I still have some burgers in the freezer that I need to use anyway then I got the El Fresco apple maple you guys saw in the section where I was um, looking at the discounted um clearance meat it sounds rough to say it that way but hey anyway this i'm going to pop in the freezer these things are great i don't i mean i spent two dollars you get four of them so they're like 50 cents a piece which i think is kind of um up there in price but they're really good like 90 calories per patty and really really good on a breakfast sandwich i like them so i'm gonna pop those in the freezer and make some breakfast sandwiches out of them then i saw these and i was like the kids are going to love, love, love making these. And then I almost thought these are good until March. So I don't know what day St. Patrick's Day is, 17th of March. 
I might save these for St. Patrick's Day and make them with the kids then. So I'm gonna put these in the back of the fridge and hopefully they don't see them before then. Then another just for you deal was these were $1.50, which is an amazing price for toasteds. So I got two packs of the butter crisps. It was a max, a ma maximum of two that you could get. So I got the two that I could get. And then this is what I was saying. The chicken was 67 cents a pound. So I got the family pack of the bone and chicken thighs because this is my favorite type of chicken. That with my $5 off, off cost $15 at Shaw's. And then at Walmart, they had some interesting deals. Nothing really like in the meat section. And I I showed you guys, I looked at the, um, I looked at the bakery section and nothing really good there either. I tend to like the Shaw's bakery section better. I think that they have better deals. But then again, I mean, you can't beat 47 cents a loaf at all these, so. Oh well. So my Walmart moved things around, but I found these in the aisle. These were $2 and they're usually $2.75, which is not a fantastic deal because you're only getting like six cookies, but I wanted to try them and they looked healthy-ish, healthy-ish. And then they, I got these at $1.84, so I saved $3.14, which is crazy. We just need to eat these in the next couple days, but I can actually make that happen, no problem. And then I got this. This is a what, tangy buffalo ranch that sounds delicious for $1.78, which is a great price. And then this for $1.89. This is a bacon ranch crunch. Now, for me, you know, expiration all goes by how the salad looks. Like these salads looked really, really good. So no problem. That will probably last a while. And then this one also looks great. I mean, nothing like wilting. This one seems like maybe it'll go before the other one, but... I'll just check them and watch, you know, whichever one seems like it needs to be eaten. Now I'm thinking about making this actually right now. This is the teriyaki veggie noodle and sauce for $1.99. And it says I think you can make it in like seven minutes. I thought it said that. Cooks in seven minutes. I cooked up some barbecue pork, pulled pork the other day, and I think that it would taste delicious in this. And I think I might serve this tonight for dinner because it needs to be eaten anyway. And I was thinking about making it for lunches, but I'm thinking now I might just make it for dinner tonight. So that is everything. And I'm going to get to cooking and prepping some of this stuff. So the first thing I want to show you is actually me processing this huge pork loin that I got a few weeks back. And I will link the grocery haul for this below. But I wanted to put some of it in the crock pot and get it set up for meal prep for us. And then the other pieces I'm just placing into freezer bags and going to put in my freezer. So I ended up with four sections and I got a crazy deal on this, guys. So I'm very happy about this. This will feed my family for a long time. So for the pork roast, I'm going to turn this into a pulled pork and it couldn't be any easier. I am just taking what I have left over. So it's about a half of a bottle of barbecue sauce from my fridge, pouring it over top. And then I'm going to cook this on high for four hours or you could do low for eight. And then I'm just going to shred it up with a couple of forks. So that is it. You just need to put your favorite barbecue sauce in and shred her up and you can turn a pork loin into some delicious pulled pork. The great thing about this is it didn't put too much flavor on it. Like I think that the barbecue sauce that I used made it nice and easy and wasn't too strong of a flavor. If you want to make this like a full on pulled pork that you want to put in a sandwich, just add three quarters a cup of brown sugar and you're going to have the most amazing and flavorful pulled pork for your sandwiches or just to eat in general. This is really, really nice more as like a meal prep so that you can add it over rice or you can put it in this case, what I'm doing and putting it into my stir fry and it just does not have too much barbecue flavor on it already. So we're back to the day of shopping and I'm making up my stir fry. So I just pulled out my wok here. I'm just adding a little bit of olive oil to the bottom of the pan, turning on high heat and then just pouring all of the veggies in. Now it comes with two packets. You've got your teriyaki packet and then your noodle packet. I was surprised to see that you need to take the noodles and actually just put them in the microwave to kind of warm them up to start. So it's kind of an interesting little process. So in the wok, it's awesome. You just put it on high heat and you can just turn it pretty constantly and it gets a nice stir fry 
feeling and taste and really, really good flavors in there. So it cooks really, really well. I absolutely love this wok. It's a super simple one. I got it off Amazon, so I will link that below for you guys. You can see how bright and amazing this came. So, I mean, when we're talking clearance food, guys, it's not what you think it is. It's just things that may go bad soon, but they're still delicious today. So you can see I'm just adding in my pork here, and this turned out phenomenal. Like, my kids loved it. My husband loved it. And it was just such an easy thing. So... The reason I wanted to show this to you guys is just to show you that it's not all about, you know, making something that is from scratch all the time. A lot of times you just take things that you can find on a deal. You don't have to spend too much money and you can get something that's really healthy and really, really delicious. So again, you just stir fry this up and then my noodles come out of the microwave and I just kind of pop those in there. They were kind of in this like hard square to start, but the instructions were very clear that it would be like that, not a problem. And just to kind of keep mixing it around and keep poking it with your tongs and everything should come out and come together just fine. Once everything's cooked and heated, you just pour this teriyaki sauce on. And my kids are becoming pretty big fans of teriyaki sauce, which is awesome. And it makes them eat their vegetables and their meats. So I'm very happy about that. Sometimes a little sugar will go a long way. So just mixing that up and it's time to serve to the family. I so wanted to get to doing some meal prep that day, but did not happen. So I did want to show you guys these blueberry muffins. I got them at the Dollar Tree and I am in this case working with my kitchen all knocked out. So you saw earlier my kitchen was still intact and since then it is completely gone except for my island. So here I'm just mixing up my Just Add Water Betty Crocker muffins on my island and I'm working with a mini toaster oven, so I'm actually going to pop these into these mini muffin pans. And so these pans are not great, right? They have a bunch of rust on them. They are old. I got them at a yard sale like years ago. And why I still have them, not exactly sure, but thankful that I do because they fit perfectly into my little toaster oven. So I knew that I could bake something at the right temperature in these little guys, no problem. So the package from Dollar Tree is awesome. Just add water and it makes six muffins. And in this case, I'm like, okay, six muffins. We're going to do 12 mini muffins. These are so great for your kids and just such like a good little snack to grab and so much cheaper than buying those little Debbie like mini muffins. Like what's the point of that when you can make these? I mean, obviously convenience, I'm all about convenience. But in this case, I had the time to make something up for these guys. So I popped these in the oven and they turned out great. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today. I appreciate you all so much. Don't forget to give this video a like. And if you're new here, I make videos like this. I do extreme grocery budget challenges and grocery haul. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the fun. I think you might also like another video I made with $5 Dollar Tree casseroles. And I'll link that right here.